Well, hello everybody, I'm Jay Leonard Jane. Today we're checking out the new improved white whale from Crazy Tube Circuits. <laughs> On the bench today is the brand new updated version of the White Whale from Crazy Tube Circuits. Actually, the original White Whale was one of the first Crazy Tube Circuits pedals I played, what really got me into the brand, and this new one uh, really does up the ante. It's a really wonderful pedal. On one side, you have a spring tank powered reverb circuit, all analog, and then on the other side is an analog tremolo. To take it over the edge from the predecessor, uh, we have uh, three, different voicings for the reverb. And we also have added a harmonic tremolo to the mix. There's even expression pedal outs for each uh, section as well as the tremolo and the reverb have their own volume knobs. So you can really change the volume to where you want it to be. Um, besides that, it's all of the lovely sounds you like, only just with more reverb on tap, more power on tap, and it's a lot of fun. What I'm gonna do today, grab myself a Fender Telecaster, plug it into a Tony King Imperial, and I'm gonna put this thing right in the front end of it, keep it nice and old school, turn it up, have ourselves some fun. Let's dig in. While we're all wired up and ready to rock and roll, I got my amp at a pretty gainy place, so when I'm all the way up on my guitar, it's kind of like overdriven. <laughs> And then when I turn down the volume knob, it cleans up. Really interesting. I'm going guitar into the white whale, into the front end of the amp. So as my amp starts to get gainy, the quality of the reverb is gonna change. It's gonna get like more swampy and like compressed and just awesome. <laughs> if you want to be more modern, keep it crisp, uh, like clean and crystal, uh, I would put it in front of a clean amp or put it in the effects loop, but I'm gonna go super old school today. We're gonna go for those classic sounds. Uh, so let's go play with it. I'm on the reverb channel. Uh, we have mix, which is our blend, tone for the reverb, and dwell, which is uh, how hard we're gonna be pushing that reverb circuit. We keep it low, it'll be a nice smooth, reverb, and then we start slamming it up. It's gonna be pushing that circuit harder, making it more swampy and more clangy and more artifacty and crazy. Um, we have uh, different uh, tank sizes. Now there's only one tank in here, so it's more a uh, circuitry thing to change uh, the quality of the sound. But let's start with long, because that's my favorite. This is the guitar and the amp on its own. <laughs> And this is the white whale.
really beautiful sounding stuff. Let's go add the tremolo here. Uh, so we'll go with the optical tremolo. So we have a three-way switch here. Optical is the more 60s style one. We could choose the order. So in the classic blackface amp, uh, the uh, tremolo would be after the reverb. So that's what we're gonna do, reverb into tremolo. So that'll be in the post. We have intensity, speed, and volume. Let's go see what that sounds like now. <laughs> Yep, yep, let's go to a medium uh, spring tank and then we're gonna go to a tube tremolo and the tube's gonna be a little bit smoother, not quite as aggressive as the optical one. <laughs> Very, very pleasing. And finally, let's go to the harmonic tremolo. Now, instead of an amplitude tremolo, harmonic's a little bit phasier, like an old brown face amp. It's a really cool effect. It's really swampy. And with this one, I like to actually change the order. So I'm gonna go tremolo into the reverb. Uh, so the reverb kind of keeps the glue of all of that harmonic tremolo together. Let's see what it's gonna sound like. Uh, there's two modes here. We have hard and soft. Let's start with hard. <laughs> soft.
And that is The White Whale by Crazy Tube Circuits. Well, that is it. That is a video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to the page if you haven't done so already. Check out the links in the description below. And if you want to hear my review on The White Whale, check it out on Patreon, because that's where I do my reviews and I do all my other videos here on YouTube for free. My question for the subscribers is, if you had a set and forget set up with this thing, where would you keep things? Um, for me, I really like the spring on the long setting and I like it with uh, uh, the optical tremolo on the other side. So that's how I like to set it. What would you do with it? Right in the comment section below. That being said, I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.